Hi guys, my name is Maz and I'm the creator of the Fitness Freedom Flow. Um, today's YouTube vlog is about my 10 best travel tips for when you're traveling solo. Um, I did write a blog about it a couple of weeks ago, but I have been requested to do a YouTube video because not everyone likes to read. Um, and I completely get that. I like to read, but for those that don't like reading, this video is just for you. So I hope you enjoy it. So tip number one, um, my number one tip is to take photos of all of your identifications. So driver's license, passport, uh, travel insurance, um, whatever it may be that you may need. Um, I suggest take photocopies of all of it. You never know what could happen. You could be on a long tail boat and everything goes over into the ocean and it's gone. So um, my recommendation is to email it to a family member or a close friend. Um, I also email everything to myself and have that on file. That way, regardless of the situation, um, you can always log into a computer anywhere around the world as long as there's internet um, and access it if you need it. Tip number two, um, smile and talk to strangers. Um, this one I found the hardest for myself because the first time I did go overseas by myself, you know, you, I remember sitting in a bar having a drink, there was like a group of people there and they were all having fun and I'm like all shy and everything. Um, it took me a good nearly hour or so to like get that courage to like go have a chat with them. When I finally did, I actually made friends for the night and not even just the night, for the trip and um, <laughs> got on like a house on fire. But I know it's scary, but if you are traveling by yourself, think about it. Do you really want to go and do things on your own the whole time? Like being on your own is cool. I love my alone time, but you need to step out of your comfort zone. So talk to strangers, say hi, get to know them. You know, like people are a lot more friendlier than we think. Like they're not all a-holes. And even if you are a little bit too scared, like if it's your first trip alone, solo, um, just smile to everyone that you see because you never know, they may strike up a conversation themselves and you know, you may find out that they're going somewhere that you want to go to and you didn't know how to get there and... That comes to my tip number three. So my tip number three is if you're listening to music don't have it blaring. Don't be like that you can't hear anything. Because if you can't hear anything, how do you know if there's a tuk-tuk behind you that's gonna run you over or some truck or some crazy motorbike or God knows. So have the music down low. Um, now these beats by Dre bring me to my next tip. Tip number four, leave all of your expensive items at home. This is like 500 bucks. Don't bring it. I'll bring these babies instead. Why? They're cheap. They're easily replaceable. It's not a big deal if anything happens to them when they get stolen. And two, you don't want to be going around flashing all your valuable items so you're really just making yourself a perfect candidate for other people to mug you. Especially if you are in a less developed country. Um, and it's kind of respect too. Like, I don't know about you, but you don't really, well, I don't really want to be overseas in a country, especially the countries that aren't so well developed, flashing jewelry and money and things that I have that they could only dream to have. You know, especially if they're struggling to even get a meal a day. So. Tip number five. This is more of like a safety thing, but always tell someone where you're going next. Um, I tend to everyone I meet, I'll let them know where I'm going. Um, if I'm chatting to people um, that own the place I'm staying at or something, I'll tell the receptionist, whatever. 
where I'm going. I tend to Facebook message my friends to let them know what I'm up to and where I plan to be. Um, it's just for precautionary reasons, you know. If you're traveling alone, you end up somewhere and no one knows where you are and something happens. Not to scare you, but if you are traveling solo, you just got to keep your wits about you and just be smart. Tip number six, um, buy yourself a lock for your suitcase. Me personally, I have a TSA approved lock. Um, that's so if like airport security needed to get into my luggage, um, they can do that without tampering or breaking my luggage. And plus I'll always so see because it has like a little red and green circle to let me know if someone's opened it and it is only TSA approved. There's that reason. Also, because wherever you're staying, wherever you go, like, I like to see the good in everything and the best of people, but you have to be smart and just better safe than sorry. Um, just keep it locked. If you're not around, you never know if someone tries to get in. Um, and another reason, you may have heard stories of it happening, but at least then no one can try to smuggle something and put, put it in your luggage and you're taking the rap for it. Like imagine that being like locked up in some other country for like years for something you didn't do. So tip number seven, don't get drunk. So if you're gonna travel solo, I'd advise not to get white girl wasted while I'm having a drink right now. Mm. Yeah, I just advise don't get white girl wasted for the obvious reasons. Um, and also, watch your drink. Um, I know, like, I don't like looking and like worrying about things that may not happen, but in some countries, drink spiking is actually quite common. Um, when I first started traveling, I was kind of young and naive and would get drunk and stuff, so take it from my mistakes. Nothing bad like that ha happened to me while I was traveling, so thank God. But you know, just watch your drink when it comes to drink spiking. Just watch it <laughs> and don't get white girl wasted. Next tip tip number eight. Uh, this one's mainly for the females, but my tip number eight is if you're single. Don't advertise that you're single. Um, when I was younger, I would tell people that I was single when they asked if I had a boyfriend and then that kind of gave the wrong idea and guys the impression that they could try more. So my advice just to stay out of those sticky situations is tell everyone you're married or you have a boyfriend that you're like madly in love with. He's just at the hotel, he's on his way. What else? Just, yeah. Don't advertise it, unless of course you really do want to hook up with that guy. Tip number nine, um, be spontaneous. Uh, the reason why I say that is you really should leave rooms for surprises. Like, yes, I know, every time we go overseas, you want to like go here, go there, you put your whole trip planned, and that's fair enough. Like, I always list a few things that I really, really have to do, um, but don't plan every single minute of the day. reason I say this is because you never know who you'll meet or what will happen or if you've already booked something and paid for it and you meet this awesome group of people um, going somewhere that you never even heard of but you could have gone with them but you've already spent hundreds of dollars on some other thing that you're doing on your own, you know, like what's the fun in that? And very last tip, tip number 10. Get to know the people and the culture. Like, when you're solo, it gives you the opportunity to be able to meet people, meet the locals, get to know the culture, do what you want, and not have to worry about someone else. So you should really make an effort to try to see and get to know how they live um, and how they are. Um, and you know what? Locals know all the hotspots, you know? A lot of the times if you're just being a tourist, going somewhere just to check out the sites, not actually get to know the culture and like get to know the culture, country and the people, um, a lot of tourist spots everywhere 
the prices are jacked up and everything's expensive so tourists know where to go and the cool places and you'll find all those places are like way better than just the typical tourist spot and way cheaper as well so get to know them also it is just a sign of respect get to know even just the basics of the language like every country I go to I have to learn three things hello <laughs> thank you and um hi no hang on <laughs> did I say three 